Many people was asking me how to create this particular effect, so here we go. I decided to make it video. So uh, let's start with a blank page. I've already uploaded four images, so they are different, so we can see the difference. And also when I hover over uh, all of them, I can see their names. So this is like an image one, image two, image three, and image four. And also let's start with some text. I'm gonna copy text just from this website. Uh, as an example. Okay, I don't like this font, so uh, yeah, I also uh, want to remove this link. Yeah, uh, let me change it to H2, I think. Yeah, H2 is gonna be fine. And also, you know, I want to place it in the middle so it will be more visual. Okay, uh, let's save it and uh, check what we have inside our code. This is like an only line which we have by now. Uh, do not link it, do not do anything. Uh, start with the just simple stuff. Okay, and uh, let's add an image straight beneath our text. It's uh, a little bit too large, so we can control its size using this arrow. And yeah, I think this size is pretty good. Okay, let's go back and see what we've got now. Uh, we have like an image one with scale 29. Uh, Let me copy this thing and paste it here. So yeah, not much difference. So you just placed one above another. And okay, the last thing we need to do here is just to add some structure. First of all, uh, let's wrap this image into a div. Um, okay, this is like a div tag and that's how we can yeah, control this image somehow. Uh, also, we need to do uh, the same thing for this whole block. So this is like a opening tag and this is a closing tag. So inside this uh, div, we have like H2 and an image. Nothing changed yet. So let's go back. And to call them somehow, uh, we need to add class names. Class equals uh, let's call this thing image im wrapper. Okay, this is going to be uh, our first class. And let's also add a class name for our image. Class equals, uh, well, I'm going to call it hover im, like image. You can call them whatever you want, just uh, remember how which words you used here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna copy this class. Uh, this is like all we need to do here so far. And uh, now go to CSS editor. I'm gonna add some room here. So yeah, uh, and your class. And before your class, type a dot. So this is how we call classes in CSS. Uh, class and open curly braces and inside these braces uh, you need to type position relative. Nothing changed but this is like important step anyway. Uh, okay, the second class we need to um, define is hover im. So yeah, our image class. This is going to be interesting. So first of all, let's uh, define this position. Position absolute. The second thing is uh, just to, to change its placement. Let's say top zero pixels. So you see now we have our image just overlapping our text. And that's how we can control uh, uh, position of image. Um, yeah. In comparison with the text. And also we can also put it down. Uh, for this we need to use uh, that index minus one. Well, we can use minus 10, minus 100, doesn't matter. So yeah, now our image is uh, beneath the text and we can define its placement. Uh, let's go with something like that. And also uh, left is going to be, let's add some space here. So maybe even more, something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good with that, but you can place your image um, however you want. And the last thing here is uh, another property which uh, will hide our image. 
display none. Okay, now our image is hidden. And the last thing we need to do here is uh, type dot image wrapper hover image hover image. So uh, what uh, what does it mean? It means that when we hover this class, I think I missed the letter now. Yeah, image wrapper. When you hover this element, like the whole element, it affects this particular element. So element with this class. And what we need to change here is just one uh, property display none to display block. And let's check how it works. Yeah, now when I hover over this line, I can see my image. Let's go back to this page and okay, this is our structure and let's copy this phrase multiple times. So four times to be precise because I have like uh, four images and let's change numbers uh, to two, three and four. Uh, also, uh, let me change this text. So yeah, they look kind of different. I don't know. I'm just going to type some rando, random stuff here. And uh, yep, something like that. Okay, so here we are. We have like four lines of text and when we hover over them, uh, we see our images. Now, if you need to link them to something, just uh, do that as you can do usually. Just select it press link and select uh, the page you want to link. So yeah, nothing's changing. But before that, uh, yep, you can just apply this effect. So this is pretty simple one. Uh, it works pretty similar if you apply this thing to a grid element. So like an element um, which is basically like a grid. So pretty similar thing. Uh, let me know if you need uh, more explanation of how to do that. Thank you.